Ten aircraft owned by Russians or controlled by the Russian Federation are now blocked at German airfields. They cannot use them since Germany closed its skies to Russian aviation on February 27th. Russian aircraft can only receive basic maintenance, such as protection from intruders. Any other servicing is prohibited, as is the supply of spare parts. Since aircraft are subject to a takeoff and flight ban due to the EU sanctions regime, they cannot be used by the owner and cannot be transported to another location. From the message of the German Federal Ministry of Transport. According to Reuters, airlines in Russia are already dismantling aircraft for spare parts that cannot be purchased due to Western sanctions. At least one Russian Suhoi Superjet 100 and Airbus A350 aircraft, both operated by Aeroflot, are currently shut down and being dismantled, according to Reuters citing its own sources. Poland supports the extension of European sanctions against Russia, especially the idea of suspending the visa facilitation agreement for citizens of the Russian Federation. Major member states, including Germany, France and the Netherlands, oppose it, due to the fact that it is impossible to overcome the resistance of these countries to suspend the visa facilitation agreement for Russian citizens, Poland is working on a new solution. Piotr Wawrzyk, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Poland for Polskie Radio. The diplomat also noted that Poland has not been issuing tourist visas to Russian citizens for several months. Only Russians crossing the border in connection with work, as well as persons with a Polish card, family members of citizens of Poland and other EU countries are now receiving entry permits. Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Slovakia and the Czech Republic also showed solidarity on the issue of refusing visas to Russian citizens. According to the initial assessment of the responsible institutions, the decisions of Estonia and Latvia are essentially very similar to the current restrictions in Lithuania. Lithuania consistently advocates sanctions against aggressive states and adheres to the positions that restrictions work more effectively if they are applied in the EU level. From the statement of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Lithuania. In 2022, almost three times more tourist visas were issued to Russian citizens in Denmark than in all of 2021. However, Denmark has stated that it is ready to discuss restrictions on the issuance of visas to Russian citizens at the level of the European Union. The pan-European response proposed by Estonia is reasonable. Of course, if Russians can enter one country in Europe, then they can enter the entire Schengen area. That's why sanctions should be introduced within the EU. Are Debuat, Minister of Immigration and Integration of Denmark, for Politiken Edition. There are fewer people wishing to study Russian at Finnish universities. Not all applicants showed up for the entrance exams and several people turned down the offered places. However, the need for Russian speakers in the country still exists. Experts in the field of Russian language, culture and society are an important resource for security policy when we consider issues such as information influence. We should not create an information wall when people do not want to know what is happening in Russia. We need to know what is the main news today, what is being written about Finland and how the attitude towards it changes. Tommy Hutunen, professor of Russian literature and culture at the University of Helsinki, for ILE edition. Kaliningrad has exhausted the limits established by the European Union for the transportation of a number of important cargoes through Lithuania, which has come under sanctions. They relate to restrictions on rail transportation. Today we have already exhausted the limits set by the Europeans for the transportation of certain goods by rail. For example, certain types of iron, steel, oil and oil products, fertilizers, antifreeze, timber. Anton Alejanov, governor of the Kaliningrad region, Russian Federation, as a part of the Valdai Club discussion. Alekhanov suggested that the Russian railways open an account in the Lithuanian Treasury to pay for transit to the Kaliningrad region. Lithuania responded that such a possibility was not provided by the legislation of the country. Now many goods transported to a remote region from Belarus and the main part of Russia will rapidly rise in price, 
This will affect the economy of the region. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Julia Bill, UATV News.